this is my third Java tutorial in this tutorial I'll be showing you another method of getting the data from the database so we'll apply certain things on the result set so we will be creating another object of another class this class called result set metadata so we will create our result set metadata as you can see my meta equal to null so what actually result set metadata does it's allow me to process query result so I can get how many columns in my table and what are these columns are the name the names of it so I will just I, I have just created the, the the object of the type result set metadata and now I will say my meta in my try block after my result object my meta equal my result object dot get metadata so now anything that is in result object I will get a metadata about it so I will this will explain the data metadata is data that explains data so I will get information about the data that are in the that the, the table so now I will delete this if I want to know how many columns in my table so I will create another variables let's see int column number and I will assign to my meta because my meta now has a metadata about all my result object so my meta dot get column count so now column number has um, uh, column the column number has the number of columns so if I print the column number will say four because we have four columns in this table so I will print now the column names so I will make a for loop that loops that, that loops four times and print the my columns name so int I equal one I less than will equal column number so in this example there are four columns it will start from one one two three four include because I I said less than or equal and then I plus plus and I will print just the column names also my meta again my meta object dot get column name and I so now we will be seeing the column names of my table see ID name date of birth and phone number so we have printed the column names with this metadata object then I will print my actual data in the table also with the while loop because I have to go through each row with my next as I said next allows my cursor to go down so I will go down with next so now I will implement another for loop that will print my info equal one I list then equal column number and I plus plus again now I'll print the info for each row now I don't have to write ID equal uh, my result set that get end name that result set that get end uh, that get string I just write my result object dot get object as you can see get object and the column index also I and after the for loop I will just print a line so I can recognize 
esta info oh. uh, print line so now as you can see here system that out the print my result object dot get object one for the first one i equal one it will print id one so i will print here another line so and then okay now it's more it looks better so now what this does my result object that get object one it will get what it is in the column one so for column one we have the first row we have id one we have id one and then the for loop will execute again with i equal two so i will be two and will execute the name the, fir the, 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 the first name which is agil and then it will execute with three and of date of birth this one and after that the last one is the phone number and then it will print a line so I, ca I can see here and then while we'll go to the next next row so it will execute the next one and for loop will execute again with the first the, with the second row so this is for this tutorial I hope you understand and thank you